And just like I was saying, yeah. you know, ain't no need of you buying four and five trucks. That ain't gonna do. That ain't gonna do the job. You gonna need the guy that know what he's doing. Cause just like you know what I mean, we can get two trucks. That's all you need is two trucks. You need a vacuum truck. And How many a lot do of we have now? Oh, we got two now. But they're talking about bringing two more new trucks. Oh, in. I see. And you don't think we need them? Oh no, yeah, you don't. That's need a waste that. of money. Yes, it's a waste of money. Who you want? Who gonna, who gonna drive them? If you don't know what you're doing. Well, there you go. I agree with you. But then they hung. Oh, That's we why don't I have think no you money. should not be going anywhere. At we least until you get money. somebody trained. You got to train somebody, Butler. Well, I don't mind can't training just somebody. Yeah, but you should. It, because you can't do it forever anyway. No, I ain't gonna be doing it forever. But they already know what See, they want to do. You're the guy all. before you trained you. Yes, he and did. you have not trained anyone. No. And see, that's not a good idea. But it's not my fault because I went to Cara, I went to David. Okay. And the first thing they holler, we don't have enough people. But if you go look in the office, you got five people in the office. Oh yeah. And now David want everything to come to the plant, and then the guy that's in the truck, when he get a call, just say just like now, David get a call. So David's not in the office, so the girl calling you. So when you get the number or wherever, yep. it's not the number what they say it is. Yep. So now that's why I think that it should have stayed out at the DPW with a secretary. That's what you need. I see. Because out at the plant, we do not have a secretary out there. So if you have a secretary answering the phone like it used to be, yep. everything will go smooth. Right. But you know, everybody want to put their hands in everything. They want to do this and do this and do this and do this here. Like I say, well, hey, you know, once a job is created, okay, you're never going to get rid of that job. No. Because you're going to make it look as if you got that job is important and you got to keep busy finding things to do. Oh, yes. My biggest thing is for them is when the summer comes. Because, see, when the summer comes, you got to have a guy that's on the truck willing to come in. At five o'clock, if you the boss, you at home sleeping. You got a guy out there five o'clock doing what he need I to do, know. doing maintenance, and he got to know. Say, hey, I need to run this whole area here, and we cannot say we don't have the money. We have the money for the guy that in that truck. Oh yeah. But they claim, oh, we don't have no money, and we do. All right, I think we got got the story down of oh, what's yeah. going on with you, but. Yeah. It, it, are you going to live on the Cape if you yes, leave? Yes, I am. And what are you going to do for work? Well, for the first couple of months, I ain't going to do nothing but relax. You are? Yeah. You, yeah. Good. You deserve it, right? That's right. Yeah, you're from Mississippi. Yes, I am. And I've been down to your... You're from... Um, Rosedale. Rosedale. That's right. It's a beautiful town, Rosedale. So one thing I can say about Rosedale, I've been blessed to come up here to do the things that I did. Because I'm retiring. Well, you're not going to retire. <laughs> you... <laughs> they paid you that well, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Do you get, do you get, are you uh, uh, old can... enough? Yeah. Are yes. you old enough to get a retirement? Yes, I am, Oh, sir. you are. Oh, yes. Oh, Butler, I didn't realize that. Oh, yes. I checked into all that, mister. Good for you. So you could retire. You're going to have a, a little pension. Yes. All right. That's but what you're I'm not saying. Gonna, let me blessed. tell you something. You're too young to not do something, so you got to be productive. Well, I'm going to go to it's the good. gym. Well, yeah, that's good, too, but you know what? I guarantee you, after two months of relaxation, you're going to go nuts. No. You're going to want to do something. No. I'm a, the only thing I'm going to do, Gino, to be honest with you, I'm going to do the stuff at my house. Let my wife be do you, my boss. Oh, you got a wife over there? Yes, I do. You got any kids? No, we do not. So we build a two-car garage, and I'm going to So where do you live over there? Monsters Mills. You, have, you own a house? Yeah, she own it. They she say own we it. own it now. Oh, I see. So so you mar you kind of married up. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. There well, you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Butler, that's yes, awesome. Sir. Good for you. And yeah. um, how'd you meet your wife? Oh, I met her uh, years ago when she used to work on Nantucket. Okay. Oh, do we know her? No, you don't know oh, her. Oh, okay. But everybody else know her, though. What's her name? Debbie. Debbie. Yeah. Okay. And Her name was Dale Palmer. Oh. Now it's Dale Butler. All righty. She Good. used to work in finance. Okay. For the town or just? Yeah, for the town. Oh, okay. When they had it, the Mooney building, she worked there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's I why I met her there. All right. Because I used to go there and fix their sewage all the time. 
Oh, yeah. I bet you were over there a lot, Butler. I only went when they called. <laughs> then when she called, we used to go for a walk and everything. So, oh, that's nice. So you're still, you, would you consider yourself kind of a romantic guy? With her? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, is it your first marriage? No, second. Okay. And were you married to somebody local or somebody in Mississippi? No, somebody local. Local, okay. Denise Amadobar. Okay. I was married to her. All right. What's the social life like over there? Oh, social life over there, good. Is you it? Can, you know, yes. You can go to the movies when you want I to. Know, I and know. that's what we do. Yeah. We go out to eat. I mean a lot, right? That's right. <laughs> wow, good for you. So, you you recommend living on the Cape. Oh, yes, I but, do. But hasn't it been a, a tough... Um, I mean, isn't it tough trying, you know, going, going back, back and, and forth? forth? Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. I, I mean, say. I can't imagine doing it every day like so many people do. I, I just wouldn't like it. Well, some people do what they have to do. No, I know. And the money is much better here than it is over there, isn't that, it? That is true. Right? But money ain't everything. Because no. if money was everything, I'd stay here for the money. Yeah, of course. But they didn't offer me nothing anyway, so they, oh, you know what I mean? God. Look. Yeah, there's David. There he is right now. Yeah. Does he know you're going for a ride with me? Oh, this my time. Okay. I've taken him for a ride anyway. Oh. You know, when he was plowing. Yeah. Remember during the storms? Yeah. Now, you didn't do that stuff. Oh, yes, I did. <clears throat> you did that, too? I was too. the bobcat man. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. Come on, now. I was I always remember. downtown. Yes. Gosh, you did a lot for the town, Perry. We're going to miss you. That's right. We're I worked really at the school. We're going to miss you. Yep. And I coached at the uh, Boys and Girls Club years ago. Oh, you, you did. remember that year I was boxing? Yes. Okay, then. I still ain't got my belt from Sandy Cronin yet. So he asked me for a rematch. Uh-oh. They don't do that anymore. No, they don't do that anymore. No That's more. too bad. That was fun. That was a good experience. Yes, it was. Well, look, man, that was a fun little drive around. Did you did you enjoy it? Oh, yes, I did. I always enjoy it. Oh, right here. With you. I do, too. always love seeing you, man. I'm going to miss you on the road. It's always uh, but a we pleasure. don't know when it's going to happen. That's right. And you never know what's going to happen, Perry. You never know. Oh, I do know. But I'm coming over to see you anyway. Well, no problem. So as soon as I know where you live, I'll be not. You know, I'll need a place to stay every now and then. Well, you can come over and stay. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll see you later, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. I'm, I'm gonna go in here and see a nice chief in here. So when would he is be a nice about? guy? Oh yes, he is. He's a very nice guy. Uh, this is going to be on soon. When? I'm, I'm like within days. I'm making it a priority. Well, that's it's good. important. That is. Yeah, I, I've got a whole bunch of them. I just did another kid. You saw me with that little kid no. earlier? No. When I was driving, you waved to me? Yep. There was a little kid in the car. He wanted to go uh, from the high, from the middle school. He right. wanted to talk to me. Well, I enjoy you, Nantucket. I know you do. We, and uh, yep, it was nice. Say, yeah. And it was nice working with everybody. And y'all do what y'all do. Keep it up. All right, Perry. See you later, Jim. Take care, buddy. All right. Bye-bye. I got to go pop on, man.